Right, I am basically recording, and I did do a blog the other day, but I didn't really get a chance to upload it yet. And I thought we'd do another one because I've got something to talk about, and it's um, a radio thing, which, funnily enough, I was going to mention somebody called Madonna. And funnily enough, only last night, she fell over at the Brit Awards. I know, I know what you're all thinking. How funny is it that I'm going to talk about Madonna and others, as well as the fact that something happened? You see, if I'd have done this vlog a few days ago, I would not have known this was going to happen, that Madonna would fall over at the Brits. But, the purpose of this vlog is a little bit about her, but it's more or less to do with the Radio 1 thing, because I'm not, an, I'm not a big listener of Radio 1. I, I've listened to it, but I'm not a big listener of it, and this is a thing that, has really wound me up a little bit, and it's nothing really that bad, well, you, you could say it's bad, I don't know, but it's people who don't understand or grasp the concept of radio. There are a lot of people who never understand how radio works. Now, I, now I am fortunate enough to have been in that position, and I know how radio works. And the point is, it's happened years ago. Radio World used to be, as some people might say, a very good radio station. Boy George has said it many times, it used to be a very, very good radio station. However, what has happened over the years is Radio 1 has decided that they did this in the mid-90s, that they wanted to be a radio station aimed at young people. Right? Like many radio stations, they have an audience that they have to target. So, the point of radio is that we got, if you have a format, you want to target somebody. Now, a format is basically the music you play. I mean, you can have a format that states it's going to be, say, R&B, slash, rap, slash, soul music, maybe with dance music. That could be a format. But that format would also cover things like, are you going to target an audience? Would it be something like um, old people? So are you targeting something where you're going to play old classic dance music with classic soul and things like that? Or are you targeting, say, maybe the modern era of that? In the same way that if you have a rock radio station, you might you, you might look at something like rock slash metal, where your audience, or you're trying to please an audience of, say, old people, say, the age of, say, over 45, or are you doing a, or are you doing a more modern rock station to please a younger market? And Radio 1 gets criticised for this, because basically, um, they've got a lot of listeners that are over 30. And they don't want that. Radio 1 basically pick and choose all their music. Pretty much, but, well, they they do at Christmas time and every other time, odd time, they'll play an old song, which I don't believe in because it's got nothing to do with Radio 1 whatsoever. Um, examples like at Christmas when they'll play something like, do they know it's Christmas? The original Band-Aid, for instance. Although now we've got Band-Aid 30, they'll do that. But a good example might be, you might hear Scott Mills say Merry Christmas everyone by Shaky Stevens or um, Nick Grimshaw might play Fairy Tale of New York by The Pogues and Curse of the Court. I don't, I don't understand why because first of all they don't represent Radio 1's audience but Radio 1 try and they've all said this but they try to basically play music that's going to appeal to a younger market so they want their new music and necessarily they're going to play a couple of old songs. So if it's something like a Fair and Cotton radio show, then you expect that. Then she might play an old record that came out, say, ten years ago. She might. Um, she might play a couple of records that came out in the last, say, five years. It's understandable. As well as lots of brand new records. Songs from last year, songs from this year. But it has to have an audience that's going to appeal to young people. So... That's what Radio 1 want. They want to look at, basically, um, that. So they don't discriminate anybody who's old. So where the Madonna bit comes in is basically people discrim They say that Radio 1 is discriminating it because basically they say, oh, Madonna's something like 56 and therefore Radio 1 don't want to play her because of the age. It's not about that. Radio 1 have always said they play the music based on what is literally going to appeal to their audience. They will likely turn around and say you've got a Radio 2 station that will simply play anything aimed at older people. 
So even so, where Radio 1 saying, oh, we don't play Madonna, we don't play Boy George, we don't play someone like um, Bobby Williams or whatever. But you're quite welcome to listen to Radio 2 because that will be where Radio 2 would do that. Radio 2 would do it. There are going to be obviously artists that will appeal to both. There's no question that you're going to hear, say, a Taylor Swift record that might get played on Radio 1 and Radio 2. Coldplay might be the same. Radio 1 are playing it. Radio 2 are playing it. There's no question that certain records are going to do that. But there will be certain records that don't appeal to either way, that don't appeal on both. They only appeal to the one. Madonna would be a Radio 2 song, not a Radio 1 song. Radio 1 may well be playing something that Radio 2 will never touch. And that is true. You know, I don't know whether Radio 2 would ever play Slipknot, but... On the playlist of Radio 1, they might think, oh, Slipknot, you're going to get played, but Radio 2 are not even going to touch it as a song. And that's what gets me, why people are, why people bash Radio 1, because they're not playing certain artists. Like I said, they don't grasp the radio situation, that all Radio 1 are trying to do is play music for younger people. So therefore, they've got to play the appropriate songs that are going to appeal to it, you know. And I know somebody might say, oh, but they're playing Paul McCartney. Ah! But this is a twist in the tail. Yes. Radio 1 actually do this because, first of all, it happens to be a featured artist. Just like Maroon 5 would do moves like Jagger and it would actually feature possibly Mick Jagger on it. The old point of Radio 1 doing this is because they allow the main artist to be the featured artist. They don't think about Paul McCartney whatsoever in any artist who does this and this is because simply it's going to be a record that very likely appeals to young people but they don't think about the fact that it has somebody old on it it would be the same as if a dance record comes out if you've got a dance if you've got a dj who comes along and makes a record a dance record we've had it in the past where you've got mech featuring leo sayer thunder in my heart the fact is it's a dance record but he's got like a, but he might have a you know, you might get a record, you might get, you might get, I mean, it happens in R&B and rap, as well as dance, they have songs that will get released, and it'll have a sample of an old record on it, so they might use the loop of a, say, like, um, Roxette had one out, it was, um, Fading Like a Flower, there was a dance version of it about, out about ten years ago, basically, um, the point is that, they can use that because they're not actually featuring Roxette is not the main artist on this record Roxette may not even be part of the record just the fact that they've sampled a Roxette song even though they're on the record they're not the main element it's not like they've turned around and said can Roxette appear on this record they they, they only have to ask Roxette can we have some can we use a sample of your record and I'll say yes that's it the DJs can then go off and say we've got this great record that we're working on and then it has a sample of a you know and they loop such a great record like they do with um, Boy, Boy Meets Girl song Waiting for a Star to Fall they can quite easily do that without featuring the original artist whatsoever they don't have to loop an old song like that so that's way that's the way it works sometimes when acts like that together or or if Kanye West or whoever as he does wants to make a record and it features say Paul McCartney he will do that you know, they'll say, I'm a major artist on it, Rihanna might be another factor, major artist on the record, and uh, Paul McCartney will be a featured one. Radio 1 can do that because they're not thinking about Paul McCartney as the main actor. They're thinking about that, he's got more Kanye West on it, and 75% of the song is possibly going to be Kanye West and Rihanna, where only 25% of the song would have Paul McCartney element on it. And that's what Radio 1 are all about, so... There are times when they say, oh, you're not playing Madonna because obviously she's old, but you're playing Paul McCartney. But you've got to see how it is. You've got to see how it juggles and how it works. That's what people don't grasp about radio. So when people moan, oh, they're not playing these certain artists, it's not about the age. They do it purely based on whether they talk to somebody. You know, someone like David Guetta or Eminem might well be 44, whatever age they are. But they appeal to young people. So that's what radio would do. They play the artists that represent the younger market. Anyway, I will leave it there. I might talk a bit more about this one one other day, but apart from for that, but apart from that, all 
we'll leave it there and bye for now.